Okay, I want to play this game, so let's play it. <laughs> If I press F4 Like this And then F8 F5 I wonder why it's not full screen. Uh. Hmm. That's odd. Well, oh well. I should move the mic first, though. Okay. Honoko-chan. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, Honoko-chan. Hello. I just got done recording some... Not necessarily covers, but just like... Dance singing, I'd like to say. Um, so I'm too... I was gonna say lazy at first, but not lazy. Because I'm too... Just stripped of energy to get everything together, put on a wig and everything. And I don't even think I'm going to be releasing this anyway, so yeah, here we go. The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me, no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I... So that's roughly how life will be for you here. If you don't understand, there's a note in your room that explains it all again. No one will ask anything of you here. There are a few things to keep to, but it should be a peaceful life. In addition, here. Receive the notebook. Your own personal notebook. Use it however you like, for sad or for happy times. Just write down any feeling you have and give it to me, would you? <laughs> but one of the children just likes to draw on it. That's fine by me too. Now, there's still time before dinner. You should greet the other children. Leave and go straight left, and you'll find your rooms. They're all good children. It may not be immediate per se, but you'll get along, I'm sure. Ah, and myself? Just call me teacher. I look forward to having you here, Alan. Ah, maybe I should move the mouse back? It seems you haven't greeted the others yet. Come back once you're done. I don't mind if you take a look around the other rooms, too. Oh, this frame rate. A variety of books. That's it. F five. There we go. That was on. Okay. Well, nothing. And then next to him. Ah. Okay. 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 Teacher. So left is where I have to go, so... Dining room. Warm. A strange design. It's locked. Okay. It's locked. Okay, everything is locked. I'm gonna make sure. I don't... Okay. I look a little odd, but that's okay. Let's see. Mm. K. 
can't exit. Yep, there's not even an option for it. Stella. Oh, that's odd that you can speak. Probably because you don't really feel like you're alive. Alan, is it? I'm Stella. Oh. Hmm? Yes. I hate living people. But the people here don't really feel that way. And among them all, you feel the least alive. Hmm? Maybe not quite right. Something about you is different. Hey, that's a compliment, all right? Hmm? Open. Fatal moon. Do's and don'ts. Avoid leaving your rooms as much as possible, except during free time. Potty breaks, okay. Don't take things from other rooms. Don't break anything. If you do, tell a teacher. Don't force your way into locked rooms. Don't hit other people. Tell, tell teacher about anything that's bothering you, or something like that. At the very bottom, there's a drawing of some kind of zebra. Oh, did Stella draw that? <laughs> that's cute. This game, I love this game. I've played it twice now. This will be the third time, I think. Joshua. So, my name's Brown. Or wait, was it Marcus? Might have been Nickel. Alan, huh? Or maybe it was Helen? Oh well, nice to meet ya. One open. A... There's a drawing of some kind of... Uh, some kind of lion. So, Stella is the zebra. Joshua is the lion. Ah. There's loads of frogs on the garden here. Spiders and slugs, too. Lots of critters. Teacher doesn't pay much attention, so I like quietly putting them on his shoulder and stuff. Oops. Wait a second. Yep, she's the first one. Chelsea. Look at all these teddy bears. Oh, all the exact same teddy bears. She is the bear. Cat. One open. Okay. Hey, teddy bear. Oh, for some reason it gets kind of stuck here. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I'm. Chelsea, uh, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, it's nothing. Um. Oh, Chelsea. Letty and Rick. Wow! I've never seen you before. Oh, you're the one teacher mentioned. Call me Letty. There's also Rick, but he's not here right now. He's a very nice boy. And you're Alan. I'd be really happy if we could play. Nice to know you. Let's talk again later, okay? I'm glad to meet you. She's... Yeah, she's too happy. Yeah. Some kind of dove. These two are doves? I could be in the middle here. <laughs> A sleepover, that'd be cute. And two chairs. Bye, Letty. Oops, oh, this is my room. Alan. Filled with lots of your clothes. Oh, I have two bookshelves. Rabbit, yeah, Alan's the rabbit. You don't really need to go to the bathroom. It's a girl's bathroom. Go, Alan, go. And then there's a phone here. And then... 
library. A mess of all kinds of books. Is this one? Nope. I feel like there's something here that you can read. Let's see. Mm, butterfly specimen. Nope. I guess not. Not until the game actually gets started, I think. Library. There's a candle. A sofa. Yes, Alan. Lots of story books. Lots of difficult books. Oh, here, that in the library. Books on illness? Story books. So every row is different. Okay. Lots of picture encyclopedias. Okay. A mess of all kinds of books. Oh, that's it. Hmm. I don't remember Alan's story though. Like what's going on with him? Room 101. Huh? It's locked. Okay. I think we have to wait until it turns into night. Yeah, when it gets all spooky. I think there was like one jump scare in this game. But I remember uh, about where it is. Hi teacher. You've introduced yourself? How did it go? I see. I'm relieved you could carry some conversation with them. You're just in time for dinner. Let's go to the dining room. Now, what do you say? Gotta adjust the sound. Yeah, it's gonna be a little loud later. Thanks for the meal, teacher! Alright, return to your rooms and get ready to go to bed. You can go to each other's rooms to talk, but don't go to the second floor. Dismissed! You haven't been here long, but you seem used to things already. How are your memories doing? I see. Well, no. Don't push yourself to remember. Just take it nice and slow. I'm sure you'll remember everything. Say, do you want anything? I'll buy you whatever I can afford. Ah, uh, well, that I can't give you. It's not something you can buy. Sorry. I'll keep it in mind, though. Well, I'll buy you some new books. You like to read, don't you, Alan? I'm impressed by how many words you can understand already. Yeah, that's why it's to two bookshelves compared to the other kids. Teachers, not so smart. I don't really get difficult things. Oh, it's nothing. Alan, if I told you there was a world unlike our world, would you believe me? No, it's just a fairy tale. But should you be invited to such a world, I'd advise against opening that door. All right, get back to your room. I need to lock up too. Get to bed quick. Oh, oops, I opened the menu. You can save though. Okay, a small notebook for personal use, okay. And this door is still locked. Yep. Well, I want to go see Rick. Because I remember he, um, we can go see them. And teacher's room is locked. No? Oh, he's just not. Oh, he's not here. But what does his note say? All kinds of contact info is written here. Okay. Hey. But even the teacher's room, he has three bookshelves, so. Time to say hello to all the kids. Hi, Stella. Oh, okay. Bye, Stella. <laughs> you talk to Rick? He's around right now. There's Letty, and then there's this other guy. He's just there all of a sudden. Really freaks you out. Pisses me off to no end, honestly. Because <laughs> he gets scared. Me too, Joshua. Hmm. It's... Getting colder and colder. It keep warm when you sleep. Aw, I hear weird voices. Joshua said, uh, "That's scary. 
I wonder if I can sleep by myself. Hmm. But Chelsea is super sweet. Ah. Oh, I forgot. Letty. Oh. Because they each have um, a psychological condition that they're afflicted with. Like Joshua's is probably schizophrenia because of the voices and also being constantly disordered and not knowing what's reality and what's not. Um, and then Letty's is disassociative <laughs> identity disorder, most likely. Uh, that's why I can remember from this game too. And Joshua's area, well, I, once we get there, but it's like hallucinations and everything. Mm. Anyway, nice to meet you. No, this is the first time. We look rather similar, but I'm not Letty. My name's Rick, and you're Alan, right? She told me about you. When Letty goes to bed, I watch the room for her. Well... Maybe it's not quite that. Oh well. Nice to meet you. Done your homework yet? I see. Better get it done on early. Better get it done early. Or not that, but it's... What is it? I'm forgetting it right now. A different condition, though. It's... Well, schizophrenia also has to do with that, but... There's something else I'm thinking of, but I can't remember right now. Horm. Oh, Alan. Uh, what do I do now? Can't go to bed. Talk to all the kids. Um, yeah. Letty and Rick. Chelsea. Uh, Joshua. Stella. Guess I just have to go upstairs now. Okay. <laughs> Here's the library again. Nothing's changed. This area. Nothing's changed. I feel like it starts to glimmer a little. Hmm? Room 101. Hmm? Did I miss something? Do I have to go down and go see the teacher again? Answer the phone. No. Okay. Forgot. It's been so long since I played. This room? This is the dining room, though. Meeting someone here? Not yet? Not yet. Um, see, go talk to the teacher again. The teacher's not here either. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I can't get stuck now. I've already played this game twice. Um. There's no way to go out. I know that. And even if I go to my room, it's not like I can do anything. Do I have to do something here? 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 Oh, shoot. I've already done that. Do I have to click on, on no? Oh my gosh, I can't get stuck now. <laughs> Alan, help me! Uh huh. What am I missing, Alan? What am I doing wrong? Do I go talk to Stella again? Oh! Quite a while ago, I said you felt the least alive out of anyone. But actually, teacher seems about equally devoid of life. Perhaps? It's his lack of cleanliness. His hair is so unkempt. It's even longer than mine. I told him that once, and he made a face like he'd eaten a grapefruit. Strange voices? Not interested. Okay. Okay, so I hadn't talked to all the kids. Won't open. Sounds kind of like the tone is in major key. 
for some reason. Bye, Stella. Okay, I think now I'm done, right? Hey, did you know? There's weird voices coming from the second floor at night. Oh, like, help. Huh? Uh, uh, no way! I don't want to check it for myself. If you're so curious, why don't you go, Alan? Oh, but don't tell teacher. He'll get mad at me. There we go. Chelsea! Help me! It's so spooky at night! Oh gosh. I remember when I first played this, I was so scared. I was like, oh, what's going on? Why does it suddenly turn pitch black? What's, why? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I go say hi to teacher before <laughs> going into this nightmare? Teacher just, I mean, he's gone. He's locking up something. Everything's locked up. Help me. The butterfly. <gasps> Who's there? Oh. Alan? I heard a loud crash. What were you doing up here? Didn't I tell you to get ready for bed and not go upstairs? The butterfly said to help? I see. Well, while that butterfly may look alive, it's long since dead. It's long since died. Something without a soul can't speak, can it? What a mess. Are you hurt? You seem fine. That's good. These glass shards are dangerous. I'll clean them up. So go to your room and sleep. Oh, ne oh never mind. Just had a little headache. No need to apologize, really. Just don't do it again. There, there. There, there. There, there. It's okay. Good night. Teacher. It's locked. Okay. Yeah, that's my choice. Room 101. It's locked. It's locked! I guess I have to go to bed then. I'm starting, starting to see... Oh! Um... Yeah, I remember that sound, sound effect scaring me too. Um, okay. 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 Is it done now? Is something gonna happen? Okay. It's the beginning of the end. Here we go. There's nothing here. I've already explored these areas before. Oh gosh, yeah. Yay! Jesus! What the hey? Now, if this isn't a strange little human I've never seen before. What's that? Why, yes. If you say you're dreaming, Alice, then sure, this is a dream. Because here, what Alice says and does is everything. That's not your name? Oh, no, no. Alice is Alice. And that's because I say so. That contradicts what I just said? Maybe you're onto something, kid. This place is chock full of weirdos. So I'm just one of them. <laughs> oh, don't say that. You don't stop in the middle of a good meal, do ya? Same for dreams. Gotta savor the taste. Oop. Well, I'm busier than I look. Alright, I'll smell ya. Yeah, I remember that scaring me too at first. Won't open. 
Um, I think this is the point in which I'm not. Oh, okay. I was just gonna walk backwards, but apparently this is the right choice. I'm hungry. Great. My stomach is growling. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's okay. The writing is too messy to read. What if I just leave? I've never done that before. But no, that'd be rude. And this is the teacher, I'm pretty sure. Ugh. Oh. Another visitor? That makes six. Hmm? That doesn't add up. Oh, never mind. Good evening, Alice, and welcome. I'm the White Rabbit, the guide of this world. It's a rather big place, so call me if you need anything. Though, I should note, I won't move from this spot. It's just a pain, really. And right now, there's the pressing matter of the keys to the world doors going missing. Four of the five are no longer here, but I think I can hazard a guess as to who has them. As previously stated, I don't want to move an inch. So, Alice, I'd like to ask you to recover them. How does that sound? No. Oh, I love the music. You have my thanks. Luckily, I do have one of the world keys on hand. So you can already go in one. Knowing who we're dealing with, I'm sure he's scattered them acro all across the world. Once you find one, please, bring it back to me. And don't be shy about asking any other questions you may have. But only once. I don't care to repeat myself again and again. That was a... This guy is a pain face just now, wasn't it? Oh well. I hope to have your assistance. Yes, what is it? Generally speaking, a world is a place that embodies the hidden side of an Alice's heart. Because all the, all the characters are Alice's in this world. Because... Their surface heart is soon to vanish, you see. I see Kingdom Hearts. They may be locked or unlocked, but primarily are locked. People don't like others trampling on their hearts, after all. I manage the keys, so just ask, and you can go in and out. So long as you recover them for me, Alice. Incidentally, the doors can be opened from within without a key, but not from the outside. The world doors can be found in the area behind me. Well then. Oh, oops. My fingers are in the wrong place. About me, other than being a guide, I like children, I suppose. He is another guide. You met him earlier, yes? The sight of him makes me sick. A very ill nut natured cat he is. I have him to thank for this ear and this off-color skin. Our tastes don't match at all and frankly, I hate everything about him. Next time we meet, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, because that's what happened to his ear. It's even in a sprite. Let's see. I want to see how long have I been playing for. Uh... Okay, it's only been 30 minutes. Good. Because after this, I have to um, start the video over again. Start the, video. start the recording over again. That way, I can record it in another place. Record another place. Um, huh? What happened? Huh? Um, I think the game broke. Um... Oh no. Okay, try this again. Okay. But the thing is though that. Hello? Oh no. Um, what I was saying is that I have to record a video over again. Record a video. No, I keep saying the wrong thing. Um. Mmm. I have to go back to my bed, but, uh, just so I'm not distracted by the sounds of the game, I have to, uh, stop the recording about an hour or so and then record the video again. Uh, record the video. Start recording again. That way, 
Um, I can record what I've... I can move what I've recorded so far over to my flash drive. That way my hard drive isn't getting overfilled again and running out of space. There we go, sound effect. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I'll save again because I don't know why it's crashing there. It's the oddest thing. Um, save here. So I might just have to restart the game again if it's going to keep crashing there. Hello, cat. Please show up, pop. <laughs> yeah. So I'll pause the recording here, I guess. And I'll see if it works now. And then if it doesn't, then. Hmm. Bye. Oh. And that's what happened. Okay. Yes. I should have said no. Okay, let's try this again. Oh no. Is the game actually legitimately crashing? Oh man. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to figure something out, okay.